Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to another episode of Now Crafting at the Osprey Lounge with me, your host, Joey Scalzo. Oh, but first, let me get started. Before we get started, let's get my stole. Got to don my stole, you know. Got to make sure that everything stays neat and clean. Got my little towels. We're all set. How do you like the set, by the way? The new set. Is it okay? Eh. Tell me what you think in the comments below when you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, we're going to stick along the lines of the classic cocktails uh, that I have been making in previous episodes. In today's episode, we're going to do a Rob Roy, <laughs> named after Rob Roy McGregor, the folklore hero in Scotland. Um, this was actually, uh, this cocktail was actually... Um, created in Manhattan, in New York City, at the famed Waldorf Astoria. It was opened for a, um, it was uh, named for a an operetta that was opening in New York City. And so um, this bartender at the Waldorf Astoria named it. So let's go, a Rob Roy. What's in a Rob Roy? Real easy ingredients. You've got scotch. I've got a single malt scotch, a 12 year old. It's a space side. It's like a sub-region of the Highlands, so um, a comparable uh, uh, whiskey that you might know, Scotch whiskey that you might know, a Glenlivet or a Macallan, Glenlivet Wayne. My buddy Wayne loves the Glenlivet. Um, so uh, this uh, Scotch is sort of from the same region. This is Glen Fodry, uh, just a sort of everyday drinking single malt Scotch. Uh, single malt Scotches, blended Scotches, we'll go over that in a future episode. But right now we're talking about a Rob Roy. So. Two ingredients, single malt scotch, which is I'm using, or you can use a blended scotch whiskey, like Johnny Walker, and a sweet vermouth. A vermouth, sweet. It is a fortified wine. Remember, folks, we got to keep this refrigerated when we're not using it, because you don't use it a lot. You use it in your Manhattans. You use it in your Rob Roy's. Um, what else do you use it in? I don't know. I forget. But anyway... Um, Sweet vermouth, and uh, I have a vacuum stopper, keeps it nice and fresh. A little vacuum in, vacuums all the air out, blah, blah, blah. So Rob Roy's can be made um, in uh, two different ways. You can make them up in a cocktail glass, or you can make them on the rocks, in a rocks glass, or an old-fashioned glass. We talked about old fashions earlier. Um, old-fashioned, once again, created in New York City. Uh, it was like a remedy for a cold... It was bitters, sugar, the original recipe in uh, whiskey or um, rye, you know, on the rocks, muddled. It was sort of a little, uh, sort of a, a cure-all. Um, and then it adapted to the uh, recipe that I uh, showed you in an earlier episode. But once again, two spirits. So basically, it's a two-to-one ratio. Once again, it's all spirits. Basically, all spirit drinks are two-to-one ratios. I'm going to make two. I'm going to do on the rocks. And I am going to do an up, or cocktail glass, no ice. Um, so, first thing first, I'm going to do two ounces for each drink, which will actually be four ounces total. So, we're going to use the jigger, the two ounce side. We're going to go one, woo, and we're going to go two, another two ounce for the second drink, woo, and then... Ding, 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 three times, that's it. And let's wipe off the bottle so we don't get it sticky anywhere else. And then for the sweet vermouth, I'm going to put one ounce of each, two to one ratio. So I'm going to use a two ounce side once again, so one ounce for each drink. It's going to be a fun day, I'm telling you, fun day. Two Rob Roy's, woohoo! Three times, no more, no less. All right, sweet vermouth. Now, you're going to add your bitters. This is Bergen Hoax bitters. Um, it's a German-style bitter. I'm going to use orange. You could use Angostura bitters, which is another type of bitters. Bitters, remember, it's an alcohol-based sort of flavoring agent. Um, adds another that depth of character, level of character. Um, I'm going to add about ah, five to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Seven drops of the... Bergen House bitters, and then we're going to stir. We're going to stir because it's a stir drink for the up, 
and then we'll just pour it over the rocks for this one. Never shake it. Stanley Tucci. I love you. I know. Tooch. Tooch. Oh, oh, your look. I love it. Um, anyway, uh, it's a uh, stirred drink. When you do it in an up, you, in, in an up cocktail glass, and then you can put it on the rocks. I'm going to use one rock. I'm going to use a square rock, a cube, made in this nice little uh, mold here. All of this stuff, most of it, you can get from my fellas and ladies over at thecocktailkingdom.com. Those guys and gals have everything you need under the sun. So let's ice the drink. We're going to use our ice scoop. Try not to use your hands. It's a little difficult, I know. I don't want to spill any ice anywhere else. We're going to pour it on. We're going to put it in the mixing glass, beautiful mixing glass. And maybe a little bit more. There we go. Three scoops. What the heck? Why not? All right. And we're going to get the stirring. We're going to get the stirring. Remember, 60 times, 60 rounds. Maybe you want to do 120 rounds because you're doing two drinks. You want to make sure it's nice and chilled. The way you can tell is if you're using a metal tin or Boston shaker, you'll just hold on to the tin. You'll see the condensation. Uh, it'll be cold. Uh, with a mixing glass, you're just going to feel the coldness of the outside of the glass. It'll be getting colder and colder. So Rob Roy, named after an operetta that opened in Manhattan. Waldorf Astoria bartender created this. Reminds me of another opera. Nessun dorma. Nessun dorma. What do you think? Should I go on? Nah, I won't go on. I won't bore you. I'll do it next time. We'll do another one. Who knows? All right. Three times. No more, no less. And uh, I think we're done with that. So now the garnish. The garnish is... My beautiful Luxardo Maraschino cherries. I love these things. These things are the best. They're so good. Get your tongs. I'm going to do three. Why not? Three beautifully placed Luxardo Maraschino cherries for my up cocktail. And I'm going to do one for my rocks cocktail. But first, I gotta get another skewer. Got one. <laughs> we'll do one for my rocks cocktail because it looks fancier with the fun little, or big, if you will, rock. Here it is. Ta -da -da. Just pop it right out. I'm gonna use my tongs to guide it in if I can. There we go. You'll see, it'll start to melt. It'll go down, give it a little twirl. If it doesn't, <laughs> and then once I pour the uh, drink over it, it'll definitely go down. It'll definitely melt down. All right, Hawthorne strainer. Here we go. Gonna pour a little bit on the here first. Oh, look at that. A Rob Roy, yum. And then we're gonna pour the rest into our up glass, our cocktail glass. Let's see, let's see, did I cheat the person getting this one? No, what a perfect pour. No more, no less. So there you have it. Your Rob Roy, you've got it up, neat, chilled, or you've got it on the rocks, or rock, if you will. Once again, my name is Joey Scalzo. Uh, this is Now Crafting at the Osprey Lounge. For more about me and all the stuff you see here, I got two websites, joebiz.net and joebiz.org. Depending on which industry you're in, the hospitality or entertainment, joebiz.net is the entertainment, joebiz.org is the hospitality. Um, please like and subscribe below. Uh, if you feel free to put a comment, something, let me know what you want, what you need, what's going on, and or just to say hey. Have a great one. We'll see you soon.